Hello friends, it's me. Today we are checking out some TikToks that feel illegal to watch. Oh, this is so cute. They made little pastries that look like corgi butts. Oh, it even got the toe beans in it. Wait a second, what is that? Ah! Very cute until it doo-dooed on me. Cream filled donuts. Sounds like a good idea. And then you got this person who did doggy doo-doo filled butts. So the doo-doo is actually chocolate mousse. You know, I miss the person I was before I saw this video. I ain't never gonna look at chocolate mousse the same. How does it manage to look so good and so disgusting at the same time? I can't believe they're running this ride. Wait, you know, I'm not a roller coaster expert or anything, but shouldn't the tracks be connected so the roller coaster can go over the track? But there are people literally lining up. People are going on this ride. Are you sure it's this ride? There's no way. Nah, they're loading the people up. Okay, should I avert my eyes? This Who will tell them? It's pretty scary. I can't believe it. I can't believe they're running this. Nah, I have to see this. Okay, do a loop de loop and it's a. <gasps> This can't be real. I know the roller coasters use those like magnetic system to just like stick to the tracks and like do the ride. Oh, bro, I'm flabbergasted. I don't even know what to say. Like it's almost like there's an invisible track. That's actually really cool. <laughs> Until it malfunctions. This dude is going to attempt to be held up by crackers. One cracker. You expect a cracker Two crackers. that can barely support the weight Three of crackers. my teeth to hold you up. Five crackers. 10 crackers. I, I, I don't know if this is going 20 to 20 crackers. Work. 30 crackers. On the floor. The mother's the worst crackers. nightmare when she walks in. See an entire Costco sized bag of Triscuits crumbled all over the floor. <laughs> they didn't even stand a chance. Crackers. There's more? How do you even hold that many together? It was a dark day for crackers. And the aftermath. Just open the window, let the birds come in. Let them take care of this. He's a 10 out of 10, but when you go for drinks with him and there's a straw in his drink, he uses the straw. Those are for us. <laughs> what do you want him to do? Like, drink from the hole? <coughs> These aches are getting out of hand. Yeah, like, what if you got a boba? Apparently, you use a straw, you're not a real man. You're gonna drink this entire boba like a man. Bro inhaled that. <clears throat> you know, I think he's earned his straw privilege. Yo, ain't nothing wrong with using a straw as long as you don't do it like this. <sighs> they made a pimple cake. See, I've seen one of these before, but this one is for a dermatologist. And it's got a very large boil and some little pimples. And when you squeeze them, oh, is that buttercream that's popping out? Oh, ho, ho, ho. So satisfying. Yeah, that's a little too realistic. Okay, do the big one next. Oh yeah, it even like comes out like a pimple too. I'm trying to get one of these for my birthday. Maybe then I will finally leave my face alone. I like how it's even got all the layers of skin. What about all those fat cells on the bottom? Are those like individually poppable? Somebody gotta make a blackhead cake of a nose. That's what I wanna see next. Something to think about next time you eat at the salad bar. Ew! I think we just give mankind way too much credit. You know, I had low expectations for humanity, but this, this is despicable. Disgusting! You want a sample of soup, you ask? Bro took the entire ladle, drank from it, and put it back. But who do you think you are? You couldn't have poured it in a cup first. This is so nasty. This is something people should actually go to jail for. Soup Fight Club. What are those, rats? You know, of all the places in the world for you to have your little fight in my bowl of soup? Like, where did they come from? What are they fighting over? Last one standing gets to drink all the soup. How do y'all like your ramen noodles? With Nutella sauce, you know, you really gotta trust the process. Maybe they're making some dessert noodles. You know, as long as you don't put the chicken seasoning packet on, I can see this actually being pretty decent. You know, it's like noodles and chocolate sauce. I feel like I gotta try this before hating on it. They made some spiky glizzies. Oh, but once you put them in the water, they're not so spicy anymore. Now, instead of making spaghetti wieners, you just stab the spaghetti sticks through the glizzy, pop it in some boiling water, and there you go. Family-friendly meal of overgrown glizzy. It's giving potato-growing tentacles that you left in the back of your pantry. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna look good. <laughs> Now, I gotta stop doing these videos when I'm hungry. I don't care what you put on my screen right now, I would most likely take a bite. Pizza with butter, I wouldn't even call that butter. That is solidified vegetable oil. You know, the pizza wasn't enough. I sprinkle some Parmesan on it, no. Dip it in ranch, no. You know, nothing hit like a scoop of butter on every bite. Her arteries are screeching. 
Make sure you always clean your donuts before buying. Just like I wash my apples, I also wash my donuts, especially when they're covered in sugar. Think of all the calories you're saving. Stale, weak, old donuts, just run them under the water. Moisten them up a little. Bro is about to do the unthinkable. Put a watermelon inside one of these bread cutting machines. Like it's made for slicing bread. But can I slice a watermelon? I wonder. Technically it's blades. Maybe you should have cleaned it before. Oh, it just grabbed it. Oh, it is slicing it. Wow, it's working. Okay, you know what? This is actually kind of genius. Now you have sliced watermelon. That's a lot of breadcrumbs. It's gonna be a little crusty though. Now think of all the other things you could put in there. This is low key a good idea. Where is it just built different? I can't believe I just paid $800 for this flight. <laughs> Whoa! It should be illegal to raw dog it on a plane. Yeah, you know, a very simple way to avoid this is just to keep your windows closed. Like that wasn't even the worst part. After it closed the window, the dogs completed their mission. They failed to retreat. I'm coming towards you next. Like you know, that was a violation. I really wonder how this person is sitting to be able to reach their whole leg behind them. You know, they waited for the flight attendants to be on the other side of the plane before they pulled this tomfoolery. She really filed it down, man. She's smiling like she's happy with the result. You're okay with this? You know, definitely not gonna wake up the next day and regret this. Like, her teeth were perfect before. You know, she wanted the London look that bad. Get the London look. This is terrible. Stop eating bread with cough syrup. No thanks. I choose my own destiny. You know, we British people have Marmite. I feel like he's onto something. Technically, it's like fruit syrup when we ain't got no jam. We got some cherry cough syrup, you know, close enough. Pop it on. And you know, we can really take this to the next level. Do a peanut butter cough syrup sandwich. When you don't want to pay for that extra bag. Of course it's Spirit. This only happens on Spirit. They make you pay for a backpack, which is wild. But what do you expect when you pay $50 for a plane ticket? They gotta make their money somehow. So people would be doing anything to hide their extra bags. Like, oh, if you don't see it, I don't have to pay for it. And you know, maybe he's born with it. Or maybe you don't want to pay the $40 bag fee. POV, you discovered that you don't need to raise your hand to knock on the door. Wait a second. This is just like optimal knocking position. I feel like you can't get a good knock if you don't raise your hand. No, I feel like a sideways knock is also acceptable. I don't know, it just feels more dramatic when you bring your hand up and then do a knock. Let me be a little extra. I did not need to know this information. You only need one bag. What is she doing? I mean, technically they're free. You know, what's stopping you from going inside a grocery store and taking the bag? She wasn't even sneaky about it. She ain't even gonna like look around, roll up like it's some free toilet paper. Me at Sephora with the little eyelash wands. They're free, aren't they? But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching, bye guys.